think that German snow melted my PC, yeah, probably. <laughs> Rocks, thank you for the follow. Did he just spat that? Oh, I'm going to let him get away with that. Marcus just said, can you not just increase the game to 64-bit? Unfortunately, not quite that easy. Um, there's a lot of things change between 32-bit and 64-bit apps because 32-bit apps are quite often written to take advantage of the way 32-bit processing works. And in the 32-bit, it means that you've got effectively four bytes, right, four bytes um, per memory thing. And sometimes code is written to just skip four bytes along. So if you suddenly change that to... 8 bytes for a 64 bit, then none of that stuff works. So I don't know if that's actually been done in the game, but um, the. Um, um, you've, you've, you say you've got bits that won't work once you upgrade it and will need to be tested and fixed. You've got third-party libraries um, which uh, won't work uh, or will need to be re-obtained in the 64-bit versions. Some of them, are, in this case, are so old, they may not even be 64-bit version, in which case you'd have to write a new thing to replace that library. So it's, um, it's an enormous job converting 64-bit. It's certainly possible, but months and months and months of work it's easy to just write a new sim. If you're going to spend months on it, you might as well make it better. And there's no guarantee anything would be that would, would be backward compatible at the end of it. So you'd end up having something which is uh, run 64 bit, but there's now no code for it. No oh, SD sixty M's. Piggyback train. Truck trailer. The truck trailers, truck trains, something like that. Hornby Lad, 1000, thank you for the follow, much appreciated.
Oh, and all of a sudden, some of these don't. Doom de doom de doom. Got another train stuck sat over there. What's happened is, is this train's been driving for so long, the graphics card has unloaded it from memory, and then what happens is it doesn't tell the game that it's unloaded it from memory, so the game doesn't resend it. It's just annoying. <laughs> Oh, they're awesome looking couplers, aren't they? Got a switcher coming over there. Tell I think the scenario ends when this one has finished going past, if I understand, if I remember rightly. Oh, the SD-41 uh, is heading off. I must admit, I've never tried rolling starts, I don't know. Yeah, it's busy tonight, isn't it, Marcus? Makes it all more fun. Not many of them chatting, though. Folks, if you're watching and you're not on chat, well, you must be, because there's hundreds of people in chat. In which case, if you're new to the stream, hello! Don't forget to press follow. Say something in chat. Introduce yourself. Oh, hello. Oh, yeah. He's a bit close to the one in front, or at least I hope he's stopped. Oh, this one's off. Oh, you stop it there, look. Like. 
<laughs> Auto rack train for the win. Shazam, so can you explain Nebworth to me? Basically I went flying through Nebworth station on a scenario with a class 47 because I was busily, busy waffling to viewers and uh, completely oblivious to the fact that I should be stopping at the next station until I was about two train lengths away from it doing 80 miles an hour. Suffice to say, we hadn't slowed down too much by the time we'd passed it. It wasn't my first one that I'd missed but it seems to be the one everyone latched onto because I think Padgate came before that then there was the one I missed on the um, Dovetail stream. I uh, can't remember the name, was it Elberon or something? That was on the North Jersey coastline. I haven't missed that many, but yeah, I've missed a few. <laughs> the proper Nebworth, remember, is one where you go sailing through it at line speed or thereabouts. Almost oblivious to the fact you should be stopping there. On the North Somerset DT dish, did I do that as well? <laughs> I forgot about that one. <laughs> oh, I think the turbine's on the move. Uh, Wazerox, I'm not making anything. I don't make content um, for DFTG. It's probably a good idea. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Nebworth. No, I didn't Nebworth settle junction. I had to go past it to then reverse back because it had been set up as being the other the other platform. So I had to go through and then reverse back. But yes, yeah, so, so I didn't Nebworth the station. However, I did destroy the engine on the, by not filling it up with water on the way back. Yes. I'll give you that one. Uh, Shore Train's looking into getting 16 on your laptop. Will it be compatible with water on Steam? Without knowing more about your laptop, it's difficult. No, laptops are uh, they're not quite straightforward. That the SD7s are going through now. Yeah. 
It's copped up a mail. Futuristic cab behind me, absolutely. We are watching trains from our place in the future. I think that's the end of this one. I'm sure it said in the instructions that after the SD70 has gone by, that's it. Looks like it anyway. I can he see any other more trains? Right, that's that one then, folks. Last scenario. Let's get this one done. Uh, where is it? So we haven't run Rascal Cottonwood before. So I thought we'd give it a go. Everything should be. I'll remember waffles for Moggy, please, Matt. And could I get a cultural entertainment centre named Rimmer World? <laughs> Thanks, Arnold Ace Rimmer. Everyone, some GGs for Arnold Ace Rimmer, please. Can I define Moobot in the Pedalston dictionary? Yeah, really. The overlord and master of all. And especially um, Mon uh, Monty and Marcus.